These guys are holding hands and doing a ballet while locusts are eating at their flesh. Have you ever seen anything so crazy in Totally Accurate Battle Simulator? <laughs> Hello everybody, Grace still plays, and we're back with more totally accurate battle simulator, no time for BS. So let's totally and accurately represent some battles, damn it! People had said, do some more stuff in the miscellaneous area, I do want to go ahead and do that. I did not at all get anywhere near doing what all the different things that I wanted to do in the last episode, because the episodes have to end at some point. I can't make them forever long, but today we have more time to do things. And so the first thing is... People wanted to see the new and updated Dark Peasants against the Super Peasants, so absolutely, we will put those guys up against one another. Now before, the Dark Peasants were incredibly OP, to the point where really nothing could come close to even, like, remotely defeating them, except for M16 guy. M16 guy <laughs> pretty much defeats everything. Let's go ahead and start things right off here. We've got the Dark Peasants with their new animations hovering freakishly across the landscape. Very, very interesting. Wow, there is swirly shit going on all over the place. Let me go ahead and back up here. Oh, it's almost like calligraphy. It's like spatial three-dimensional calligraphy highlighted by floppy, flailing, low-poly bodies. <laughs> I don't even know. There's just bodies flying everywhere. For sure, though, the Dark Peasants definitely brought down a bit. Those, those spikes that they had were absolutely ridiculous. In the end, though, it looks like the Dark Peasants did pull that one out. I kind of wonder. Let's see something here. Before, the Dark Peasants were easily nullified by M16 guy. But I wonder, can anyone come up? to the Dark Peasants and have any remote chance at defeating them. Let's go ahead and try some Super Boxers. People wanted to see the Super Boxers getting used to. Let's go and, uh, oh my god, we're gonna need a whole slew of these guys to equal the amount of Dark Peasants we have. There we go! I'm sure this will turn out just fine. Oh, and there's a little Easter egg that will- Whoa, god! Oh, the- Oh my- the beautiful- Oh! <laughs> Look at this cluster here! It's like- It's like hornets attacking! Look at the giant meatball of- Of totally accurate battle simulator men trying to go after those dark peasants. Oh, this is fantastic. Oh! Oh, landfall. You outdo yourself every time. Oh, man! They are falling left and right, though. It look, it, it's like a- It's like those damn- Lightning things that blow down freaking mosquitoes and stuff. The dark peasants still very strong. All right, we need to figure something out here to take out these dark peasants. All right, how about the beamers? The beamers are considered very strong in their beamy abilities. If we make too many, they're going to be all shooting each other in the back. So let's see how good these laser snipers can deal with these just the, the damnable powers of the dark peasants. Here we go. Oh, so this is what happens. It's like some sort of, some sort of gravitational, I don't even know, like, like black holes. Oh, there's a couple of shots being fired. Did any of the dark peasants fall from that assault? I don't even know. I don't think so. It looks like they're all just fine. Man, this is, oh, a dark peasant here looked to be a charred up a little bit, so he probably met the, uh, the, at the business end of one of those lasers, but it just wasn't enough to kill him. Alright, well, that didn't work. Let's go forth and see what else we got here. The Legion of Energy Sword Masters is coming in. Now, they're gonna go flying into these. They're just gonna go, like, super fl There, right there. But look at that! It's like... It's like a freaking Cuisinart! Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about, baby! Ron Poe Peel would be would be proud at this display. All right, they're doing they're doing uh well I was gonna say they're doing okay but really they're not I think they're just dying horribly. Oh there's a few of them down here that are still alive. Those laser swords are kind of cutting into the uh into the the dark peasants but I don't know if any of them are even down yet. Again just looking at the men on the field here all I'm seeing is red bodies. I'm not seeing oh. Oh, I thought I saw one blue body, but I was wrong. Now, the energy masters are definitely living longer than the rest of their counterparts. 
So again, another blue victory for the Dark Peasants. It's possible that this many Dark Peasants is kind of like not, it's inappropriate. We could probably use a ton of siege weaponry to do things, but there is one thing I want to try real quick. Okay, this might get a little heavy here. I don't know if this many, oh, it's working very well. Now, someone said that if you put a man on top of the pyramid, horrible things will happen. Oh, the pyramid is spewing out black smoke. What does it all mean? What could, what could be happening here? I don't know. Right now, it just looks like there are like bodies just flying all over the place. Oh, there's one guy over here that's still alive. Look at all of the, <laughs> look at all of these freaking uh, chariots just laying on the ground. There's still a couple of guys over there. Another blue victory, but I think the chariots did okay. All right, so I think that realistically what you'd have to use is a bunch of a bunch of um, siege weaponry to probably take down that many dark peasants. But let's try some more of the miscellaneous along with a lot of the neon units and see how they do. All right, here we have Donald Trump leading a legion of M16 guys against a whole bunch of the neon folks. Now, by the cost, the blue side should be significantly underrepresented. Let's see how they do though. I'm, oh boy, here we go. This is what I wanted to see. Look, look at this. Look at the group just stopping all of that gunfire in its tracks. I wanted to see what it was like when these projectile shields came up against the M16 guys. Oh, it's amazing. Along with all the energy masters. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and speed things up a little bit here. Okay, now we'll go back to slowing everything down so that the frame rate works a little bit better. Oh, wow. This is incredible. All of that gunfire can't get anywhere. Although several, several of the projectile defenses have gone down, but many of them are still working. You can see one, one laser master right there. Laser sword master ended up getting taken down. Oh boy, the, the Star Wars group here is starting to lose. Starting to lose to M16 guy. Let's see here. There's only a few more of these projectile stoppers left. Look at them just totally nullify all those bullets. Oh, it's so cool to watch. Look at them get shot out of the sky. Right there, another man down. It looks like there's maybe three or four left. Look at this brave soul trying to ward off all that gunfire. Over here, one lone projectile deflector is left. But in the end, oh, there's a few more. It looks like they're on their sides though. Oh, I don't, I don't think that there's any way. I don't think that there's any way that they're going to be able to stand up to this brutality. As, what do we have, five? Almost a half a dozen M16 guys push on forward and take the victory? They should be taking the victory. They're still just walking. Why are they still just walking? There should be a little victory symbol. Is someone on the ground here that I can't see? Did someone end up going through the planet? Yep, right there. Right there. I don't know where this guy went to. He kind of... He just fell right through the ground. All right, we're gonna call this a red victory. Someone had asked to see a whole slew of Huachas against the projectile defenders. And I am kind of really interested to see this because the amount of arrows that are about to go flying, here we go. <laughs> Look at all those lasers trying to nullify all of the Huachas. There is no way. There is so many arrows that those defensive turrets there didn't stand a chance. But now, it's a whole bunch, look at this. It's a whole bunch of ninja masters against energy sword masters. And the defensive towers are still shooting. They do have some capabilities of doing, it looks like, like range damage. And they are firing straight into, straight into those, those poor men, oh wow. There is a whole slew of energy sword masters still alive. This poor guy can't get a damn throwing star out because the, the projectile towers are shooting every one of his freaking stars down. The blues take an easy victory there. Holy crap. Someone had said they wanted to see a couple of chicken man mans up against one of these super peasants, or not super peasants, the dark peasants. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, I don't know, man. Right here, these guys are gonna end up just being totally engulfed by the dark peasant. You can see, oh, there's one already down. That poor guy has already met his maker, his maker and Jesus Christ. 
the dark peasant takes another victory right there out of the clutches of the chicken man man. Real quick, I just wanted to see who would win in a fight. An energy sword master or two of the samurai masters. Now, the two samurai masters equal 1,000 cost, and that's 800 cost for the energy master. And yes, that that extra like dose of, of damage really did the energy master in. That was pretty cool. I, I didn't expect that. I kind of expected the energy master to take the floor there. All right, we're here in neon land, and we're going to do everything that we can to take out a dark peasant with the Neon Faction. Yes, the Dark Peasant has brought his witchcraft and sorcery into the Neon Lands. I don't even really know what the Neon Lands would be. But anyway, it's time for these Neon guys to do their thing. Let's try some box guns because that should like get him caught up a little bit. I'm gonna put another one over here. Let's do, I'm gonna use a little bit of everything. We'll do a couple of gravity dudes to see how that does. Like a line of Teslas. We've got plenty of money to deal with here. Or cost, I don't really know what you want, whatever you want to call it. Let's do a couple of energy pistols for some range. Maybe we can get a little bit of damage in this way. A couple of beamers as well. Let's put these beamers like way over here. Maybe they can shoot around this pillar. And what else should we do? I'm also just going to do like a giant line of energy sword wielders because I think that they should be there. On top of that, the projectile shield, I don't think it's really gonna do anything because this guy doesn't really shoot projectiles. I guess I'll try it just to see. Maybe it'll do something valuable. We'll put a couple of those on the field and we have some extra cost here. So let's throw down some of the, right here, the energy sword masters. We've got about a thousand left. Let's do one more energy sword master and then just like a couple there we go. A couple of these guys right here. Okay. So let's see what happens here. This one dark. Wow. Oh, wow. I'm not certain what's happening. I think that the gravity dudes are trying to pull him in. There we. Wow. It was just an explosion of bodies. I don't even know what happened. This guy is still doing his thing, though. Look at all those beam lasers flying around. The, the beamers over there trying to shoot him down. You can see their rifles, they're, I think they're charging up right now. Their bodies are lifting up and down all over the place. There we go. The super peasant, or not super peasant, I keep saying super peasant. This looks like kind of like a super peasant or a super boxer. Look at him, he's coming out of the ring to try and fight. That's interesting. Oh, the, the beamers right there, still having a lot of range, trying to take this guy down. Oh crap. Oh, the box cannons are about to get their asses beat big time. Yep, there we go. There's only a few few of the beam guys left because now the final box cannon is down. Oh, crap. Oh, no. The dark peasant's going to come out on top again. Son of a bitch. Oh, they're still shooting, though. They're giving it. Oh, no. He wins again. The dark peasant wins again. Okay, we're going to need to go, like, all ranged. We're going to need to just do all ranged. I think that's what's going to have to happen here. Let's put a couple of gravity dudes, well, like a bunch of gravity dudes in the front just to like act as meat shields. And now we're gonna do just, these guys aren't even like inside. Can I put them on top of here? Yes, I'm gonna put them on top of here. Maybe this will do something cool and unusual. Put them on top of these. Can I, can I fit a guy up here somehow? Kind of like little sniping positions. And then on top of that, I'm gonna go with just a mess of energy pistols. Just an absolute mess. Okay, let's try this. Light this place up like a Prince concert, baby. Make it happen. Come on, shoot him. Shoot him, guys. Don't get too close. There you go. Yes, fire the lasers. Oh no. The whole, the giant front ranks were just torn asunder. By the dark feather. Ah, oh, their bodies lying everywhere. But the beamers, the beamers have a good position here. It looks like they're getting quite a few shots. And look at those. I love the graphics on the beamer rifle. This is probably one of my favorite graphics is the beamer rifle. Look at them shoot down range. I love it. Let's go ahead and come back down here and see what's going on. They're still doing good on the sniping area. Looks like he's trying to get in. Oh, God. If he gets close enough, he is just going to take out like half of these guys in one fell swoop. It is going to be horrible. Oh, he's going around the corner here. Where is he going? Where in the world? Oh, we won! We finally won! Yes! 
The Beamers did it! The Beamers took down the Dark Peasant. But that makes me wonder. Will M16 guy take down the Dark Peasant as well? The only issue is, is that the value of the M16 guy goes up really fast. So let's not go above the value. Let's keep it right about there. And we need to, we need some guys in the front here to kind of like absorb the punishment. So let's put down a whole slew of boxers and start this and kind of see what happens. All right, here we go. M16 guy firing into the fray. Look at that. Look at all the firepower there. They are lighting this dark peasant up. But the problem is, is that those boxers are falling very, very quickly. And if they, if, if these boxers can't stay alive and allow the M16s to do their job, those M16s are next. Uh-oh. Oh, I think, I think all the boxers may be down. Oh, no. There's still at least one here flipping and flopping around. Look at him. You valiant bastard, you. You did well. You did well, but now it's M16s versus the Dark Peasant. They're keeping them at bay with all their firepower. Yes. The M16s did manage to do it. Very good. So the M16s is still a very, very powerful force to be reckoned with. All right, boys, new technology versus old technology. This was another requested battle. It was muskets against the laser pistols. So right here, I wanted to keep the units the same so they both get 16 units. Uh, so the blue side is under-costed a little bit, but uh, who cares? They're the neon side. I'm sure they'll do just fine. Okay, so let's see who would win in this battle. I think that the muskets may have a little bit of a range, an extra range over the laser pistols. Okay, let's see here. I'm trying to slow down so we can catch this very first volley between these two sides. There they go. There goes the musket pellets. Already several blue guys falling pitifully to the ground. Wow, those laser pistols, the range on the laser pistols are absolutely atrocious. You can see right there, the laser pistols are starting to cut men down. But there's still quite a few muskets here. Oh, this is it. It's only one laser pistol guy, and we still have a half a dozen muskets left. He just got blasted. Just showing that those muskets, even with the old black powder and, and, and pellets, are still doing damn good. I don't think it's called a pellet. Crap, I'm trying to remember what it was called. The giant ball bearing that was loaded into the musket. I'm sure one of you guys will tell me. All right, now when I was playing the campaign, I felt that those beam, those beamers were a little bit underpowered, a little bit, I don't know, they just didn't feel like they were worth 500. So what I wanted to try here was just a long, long range, so almost max range to give these beamers their full due. And I wanted to put a dozen of the muskets, those lowly cost muskets, against 12 of the beamers. Let's check this out real fast. Now, the muskets should have a significant range disadvantage, I would think. Right here, we'll see how far, we'll see how far the beamers can shoot. Oh, right now, they're starting to take aim, it looks like. So they should be getting several kills before these muskets are even in range. There we go! They totally wiped out the muskets. So at range... They are clearly superior, but let's check something out. What happens, what happens when they're not, where they're not winning by range? Let's go ahead and put 12 more of these guys here against 12 muskets. This is going to be like a face-to-face, -face, like right in your face battle. Oh, gave him one too many guys. So let's see who puts, who puts pellets in the asses or beams in the asses right here. This is what it's going to come down to. As the little cubes fall to the ground. Right there, the muskets a little bit faster off of the draw. And unfortunately, those those cubes there are causing a little bit of havoc, it looked like. Those cubes fall down from the sky every once in a while, and they cause people to start, like, levitating and stuff. Like little anti-gravity cubes. But right there, the muskets just whipped up the freaking, the freaking beamers at close range. So these lowly musket users can beat the crap out of these beamers at close range. All right, we've got a bunch of super boxers up against the neon side. I'm really curious to see how well these super boxers do compared to the, uh, oh, right here. I wanted to see those box guns in action too. Look at those box guns. It looks like once you're in the ring here, man, this ring really takes guys down. It's just, they don't, they don't seem to have the defenses they would normally have. To a lot of misses with the rings there. Wow, a blue victory on the Super Boxers with this setup. Very cool. You know what? With this setup here, let's put them up against something real impressive. Let's put them up against a bunch of these Super Peasants. Now, the Super Peasants are, like, way overrepresented here cost-wise. Let's see how good they do, though. 
they're flying right into battle against the energy sword users. Oh, there are sparks flying everywhere. Blood spitting ass flying all over the ground in the neon lands. You can see men are getting just freaking lariat clothesline left and right. But I think that there may be a couple of red guys down. Oh, maybe not. Wow, the blue guys just got the living balls beaten out of them. Right here, this poor lone bastard is all that's left. And his giblets are taken out quite easily. Oh, there's still someone alive. I'll bet. Oh, I was going to say, I'll bet that there's someone like lingering underneath the map. So the super peasants have a big advantage over the super boxers and in fact so much so that we could probably throw down a whole bunch of these super boxers now we have a much higher representation money wise of super boxers but let's see if they can do anything there we go tackle them down boys oh i love it i love it when a plant comes together like this look at the glowing boxing gloves flying everywhere there go a couple of the cubes what'll happen will they burst in time uh yep bodies bodies everyone felt the power of that particular cube you know i gotta say i think that the blue side is doing pretty good i think these super boxers are they may come out on top i don't know it's looking kind of even oh no i think the red guys are starting to come out here we go there's only a few blue bodies still wriggling wriggling like maggots amongst the just the brutality scene here today oh yeah the red guys are not gonna have any issue at all in fact that should be the end of it unless there's something else going on this is cool it's like a little uh it's almost like a little volcano it just spews these things out kind of interesting what is left where is everyone going is there a guy lingering under the ground oh oh you can see the core down here that's kind of interesting i didn't know about that all right i guess that there's some dude somewhere oh probably inside this pillar ah I don't know, man. Is there someone in here? Oh, yes, there is. Look at this guy. Look at this poor bastard. Oh, he just got punched. Just got punched right in the giblets right there. Somehow they got him inside of the inside of this little uh this little pylon or whatever you want to call it. All right. So we checked out a but oh right there. He just oh he came out. Reds have a victory. There we go. So we got to see several more battles and a couple of the things that you guys wanted to check out. Oh, you know what? Hold on. One more thing. I really want to see if we can get this. I really want to see if we can get this this volcano to do anything else. People had said that it does like some other cool stuff. People had said that like there was uh, like locusts coming out of it and everything. I don't know if that was a bunch of freaking bullcrap or what. But I'm going to put all kinds of peasants over here. I'm going to put all kinds of peasants over here. And we're going to see what happens. I'm going to see if anything happens from this. Uh, yeah, there we go. There's, there's a whole bunch of peasants. Let's go ahead and start things off. Let's find out what goes on up here. Everyone's climbing up. <laughs> a bunch of oh oh wow it is look at it look at the black mass of i guess locusts coming in and just annihilating everyone oh it has it has been substantially pissed off and it is indiscriminately just eating the flesh of low poly physics based bastards is it? Oh, now it's kind of like stuck inside of here. It's, it's not really doing anything now. It's just kind of like, like they're coming to it. I don't, whoa. Oh, wow. That's so cool. Look at it shoot around and kill everyone. Okay, hold on. Hold on. We may need to do something else here. Okay, let's keep all the peasants. Well, we, we could do some less peasants here. Hold on. Let's put a couple of less peasants on here. And let's put, what do I want to put on here? Let's put a bigger force Let's put a couple, like, chicken men, like this. We'll put one chicken man man, and then a couple other chicken men. Oh, not that. Not not all the chicken men man. So there we go. One chicken man man, and then other chicken men. Uh, we'll put, uh, we'll put Trump over here on the red side. We'll put Hillary over here on the blue side. And what else do I feel like doing? We'll put down a couple of... Ah, what the hell? We'll put down a super peasant as well. Okay, on each side. Let's go ahead and start things off. Now, let's see what happens here if these locusts get pissed off. Oh, there they go. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Oh, they're traveling all over the map. But after they're done whipping up... The, the, oh, right here. The locusts are taking out this chicken man, man. Oh, it's horrible. 
Look at them. They're sticking all over him like white on rice. What can he do? The chickens stand no chance against the locusts of Egypt. Oh, it's horrifying. Oh, look at all of the chickens dying horribly. But who's going to go down first? Because, uh-oh. Oh, that's a chicken man man down right there. Chicken man man down. And the locusts appear to no longer be interested. Now they're only interested in this poor bastard. They just lifted that guy straight up in the sky. Oh, wow. They are just taking bodies all over the map. These guys are holding hands and doing a ballet while locusts are eating at their flesh. Have you ever seen anything so crazy in Totally Accurate Battle Simulator? <laughs> and that is it. For some reason, it's a red victory. All right, the locusts are very cool. Guys, let me know if you have any additional suggestions on what to check out in Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. Anything else you'd like to see me do, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. I hope you guys are enjoying Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. Until the next night, folks, stay foxy and much love.